Santa Clarita was pounded with rain in recent months, marking the wettest storm season in decades. While the scenery of green hillsides and blooming flowers are breathtaking, the torrential downpour has shaken up the local ecology. Frank Hoffman has been at the Plaza Rita Nature Center for 28 years, and he has never seen so much change in such little time. So, you know, those three factors, earth, sun, soil, water, precipitation, these are all the factors that contribute to natural growth. We're going to see a lot of it. We're already seeing a lot of it. We've seen more blooming flowers this year than we've seen in a very, very long time. The rain's reshaping of the environment forced some of the trails at Placer Rita Canyon to be closed for months out of fear for hiker safety. However, many disregard the park's warning of dangers they may encounter. Potential for rattlesnake bite. There is the potential for mountain collapse. Again, mass wasting, uh, the debris fall, rock fall. Remember, as the soil expands and contracts, it's, you know, gravitational pull. They, it's gonna, they're gonna come down. It's just part of the natural process. With the recent storms, a lot of the trails have been closed due to damage, debris, and obstruction. On the few that are remaining open, like the Manzanita Trail behind me, it's easy to see how the water has left its mark. The water has carved runoff creeks like this one and turned firm soil into loose, slippery dirt like this. Right here. That's all Frank the Hoffman trail. and the Placerita Nature the Center advise people to take caution and to follow safety guidelines when visiting. For Canyons News, I'm Haley Wilson. And I'm Chris Kalani.